Is he coming home? <laughs> no, no. I'm not even going to respond to that. Right. There's Anna, Jonathan, Amelia, Eduardo, Alessia, and baby number four. They've got six dogs and they make vlogs. They're really so much fun to watch. Tune in every day to see more. Good morning, Alessia. Good morning, friends. Good morning. I was just walking past and I could hear her singing away to herself. I mean, Eduardo weren't even awake yet. Before this day came. Really? Yes. So today in Holiday Club there's a disco. Two. Okay. Oh my goodness, look. She looks like Alessia with the blue eyes. Alessia. Yeah, look, twins. Look, I brushed her two teeth. Okay, I, I want to try and pick both of these up in one go. I know it'll be a whole lot probably easier to just go to the car and come back, but I feel like there's got to be a way to pick them both up at the same time. There's got to be a way. Everything's back to normal. Yeah. Emilio's bringing her baby. That's your baby seat in there. I know I didn't bring anything. Did you not? Well, do you know what you brought? Yeah. Personality and a smile. And a good attitude. And some toothpaste. I've got about face. a water bottle right now. Mm -hmm. I can drink it. Oh. <laughs> it's somebody else's. I know, because there's Maybe loads of people in this car yesterday. Trash the car. Trash the car? What's trash the car? Seatbelt on, mister. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Trying to say it with enthusiasm. Didn't have the baby yesterday at the baby shower. Good stuff. I always joke about the babies coming early because I'm always like, oh, I was going to be excited to see them. This time around, I'm like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do not troll me. Oh, God. We're on the train to nowhere. How many appointments do you think you have left? Four? Uh, I don't think so. You don't I don't think, think so? Every week is it? I don't know, it will be annoying. It'll get annoying oh, very fast. So. Yeah. Every week after this, because next is 37 weeks. Whoa. I don't think so, though. Isn't 37 weeks a pregnancy thing? It's, 37 and weeks. It's, um, 37 weeks is term. Oh, term. But now I think they've changed. I'm not sure. When do we give them the it's eviction like, notice? 40. Oh, 40 weeks. So 37 weeks is like never term for me. That's always been like, I've always middle, good second out. trimester. <laughs> yeah, so for me, uh -uh. I think it's not, but some people, like as in if you gave birth after 37 weeks, it's fine. it would still be considered a term. Maybe, oh. Maybe. With next week. Oh yeah. my goodness. Like every time 37 weeks has come and gone, I'm just like, I'm gonna say, everyone knows their guess, right? But I'm gonna say somewhere between the 15th and 20th of August. That'll be my guess. Like, yeah, because can I just say, like, for the record, I have not had any tightenings, any contractions, any Braxton Hicks. Mm -hmm. any, yeah, no Braxton Hicks or anything. No, any, um, like, pelvic pain. I've had pressure before, but that's kind of stopped. So I don't have any, like, pelvic pain or anything. 
would your guess be? Throw it in a guess so I can edit this in later on. <laughs> he's number four and he's measuring big. Ooh. So he's gonna say early or well on time. No, I think maybe like on time. Oh um, really? It's controversial. Myself, I know. I'm I'm, be like, Yay! And then, I'm so worried about it because we're so like, no, nah, this is this baby's late, and then like all of them have been late, and this would be the one that, and you're like, oh, I'm feeling nothing at all. Like, you're feeling nothing because it's actually happened. You're gonna get no like false labor things, it's gonna go boom. Yeah. Like, don't do it. So, my little sister's birthday is the 16th of July, and his brother is the 24th of July, 23rd of July, and my brother is the 18th of August. So they're all the dates we need That's to avoid. I know. Oh no. Find out soon. Alright, here we are. Back in the usual spot. Didn't get the new machine again. Just point that out. <laughs> oh, someday. Someday soon. Let's see how he's going. Why do I have to put up with <laughs> It's the last time, we promise. You said that last time. Yeah. <laughs> Is he coming home? <laughs> no, I'm not even going to respond to it. Right. The abdominal discomfort is probably more important. So have you been getting a bit more back pain? Yeah. Yeah, well that's mm. why, because at the moment you can see... Is that anal spine? If you wanted to be clever, you can have a look there. And can you see, come, come down here and drop down and look at the side. You see it mm. comes up, goes down and goes back up again. Oh yeah, it does. There's a dip yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah. that is a sign, that's one thing we're taught, that, you know, the midwives and junior doctors are taught, that if you, if, if you don't have a scan, part of the assessment... You can look you, at it. You can actually look at it, and it just gives you an idea. I hope you're picking up all these... I am, I am. Number next, five. For the next Back pain is really... And that's funny, you were saying, complaining, like saying back pain, and then he yeah. said, oh, it looks like you're having back pain. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> back to back. Alright, well, he's still growing, but Theo, we'll just kind of call him Theo. 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 <laughs> we call him Theo we're, whenever I'm making him, whenever I'm talking about him, I use his voice. I'm like, hi, mom. Hi. He just reminds you of Theo. He just reminds me of Theo somehow. <laughs> we were just talking about uh, a new baby coming, you know, the difference between Alessia and this guy, you know, and we were saying, like, Alessia was like, it's so funny how Alessia was like our precious pregnancy. Yeah. You know, it was the one that we like, we did, we shared the least amount of the pregnancy story with you guys on Alessia because she was our rainbow baby and it was straight after and her anxiety was so high and everything we did. And but now it's like her personality like reflects that. It reflects like, that, so, yeah. Like, she's precious. To me, yeah. So, because she almost like sensed that, like yeah. inside the womb, being like very like protected and like. I don't know. Yeah, and then Eduardo was definitely the more precious, whereas Amelia was just like, I don't we know what we're doing, nothing to expect, and then she popped out all like, hey, what's going on? And he was a, chilled or something. Whereas this baby were like super chilled out about it. And I'm like, he's maybe he's just gonna be that kind of personality, maybe he'll have that. Yeah. Where he's just he's carefree also. Eduardo's like a little bit not as mm. precious as Alessia's, but a little bit because I knew I was having a boy and I knew I was gonna name him after my dad. Yeah. So it was a bit more like, oh, okay. Whereas this is, I'm Amelia, carrying my dad, didn't, like. Didn't, yeah. yeah. With Amelia, I didn't know anything different. Yeah. We were just really happy. Like, and that's how oh, it reflects them he's, today, he's, how they are. That's gonna happen, you know, like, so, like. Mm. So I wonder, is this, so I wonder, does that actually have an impact? I think it must do. On the child and their personality and everything. It must do. Yeah, because every time we describe Alessia's pregnancy and then we describe Alessia today, it's the, same. it's the same thing. And how this guy, I'm like, we were keep joking like about Theo, about this guy being like big and confident and just like, he's gonna come out like chewing the milk of course. Hi mom, hi dad, what's going on? You know? I hope he does. That'll be funny. What? I don't know, he's gonna be like the funny one or something. You know? yeah, every time I see Theo, I'm just like, that's just like literally what I'm carrying. <laughs> that's right what's now. so telling. He's so hairy and white. Yeah. But yeah, Theo actually comes out. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> power of good food. Let's get some good food power. Oh, I wonder if the green cafe open. I bet it's not. Food time. Oh, I'm gonna get some green machine smoothies. So good. Apple, kale, and spinach. Who would have thought? Hey, grab a uh, green machine, please. Right, we are leaving to get the train, right? But look, Rachel Riley store here. 50% sale. Bingo. 
But we need to get this little man some clothes. Me too. The shop window looks so cute. It does. I love the 50% off. <gasps> oh, no. Do you know what he needs? He needs his coming home outfit. I already have some of this. Oh, stuff, do you? So just be careful. I think I might have that. Aww. So Amelia came home and said, oh, this is always. This is what he needs to come home wearing. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, imagine. What do you think, little fella? Ah, wait, no, no, eight, no, no, new, new, new. Six months, three years. Um, what about for a newborn? That is so cute. Let's see what actually fit into that. <laughs> oh, one month. The newborn stuff does go fast. Ah. My goodness. Imagine our little man. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. You like the... Oh, the baby. little rabbits. But Leslie was our bunny baby. Right. He can be it's our aeroplane baby. But he's, he's a boy. What does that mean? Oh, does that <laughs> No. Oh, my goodness. Imagine it was matching. Imagine we could get I something... Got, well, and the kids don't wear them because they've got colors on, remember? Oh, yeah. But, ima the but imagine all four of them this Christmas. <gasps> we have to do it. Ruin, ruining the fun. Escalated to Alessia now. <laughs> and then it'll go to Amelia and Eduardo. She's this one. Oh. Like, I think a lot of stuff is the end of the sale. Does she still wear baby gloves? Not really. No, not really. Yeah. She does it like at night time. Yeah, she wears these kind of things. What are they called? Jumpsuits? Yeah. Yeah. Look, they've got yellow. Oh, yeah, it's more eastery though. Like, we're going into like summer, autumn. Do you have an adult? Boy. Oh. Yeah. That's nice for your husband. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's number four. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So. You've got a girl already. We've got, uh, yeah, so I've got a. 50 more. Oh my goodness, I almost made it. Oh, so far, okay, we went and bought some uh, baby clothes from Rachel Rayleigh and it was a little bit over my Apple Pay limit. But I was like, my new video, <laughs> living on Apple Pay for 24 hours. <laughs> oh, lighting in this cab is so bad. But um, I love it. I'm like, I'm almost brave enough to leave the house and just have, because contactless is a 30 pound limit, right? And in this day and age, 30 pounds sometimes just, it's not gonna cut it, you know? But definitely having up to 100, so you can get like the train in, and then we get the taxis, and then we're able to pay for lunch, and then the taxi and back for the train, so we're done. Like every, had we not gone to Rachel Riley's, I would have made it, I would have spent my day with the Apple, Apple Pay, and then if I did the vlogs on the phone too, boom, that's it, my whole life. I don't know, it was cool. I'm, I'm just, I only realized about Apple Pay recently. Where was it? Was it the girl on Welcome Mamas? So Someone said somebody it. Somebody said it to me. Oh, gee, use Apple Pay. And I was like, oh, what's that? And then I registered my phone and everything. And now I'm just like, it's amazing. It's changed my life. <laughs> I don't know. Because sometimes, you know, when something's like using contactless, right? And then something's like 31 or 32, and you're like, ah, oh, I have to put it in. You have to press the four digits. Ah, oh, come on. Who has, who has time to do that? But now, now, I feel like I'm endorsing Apple Pay. But uh, if you don't already use it, have, I think it's not on iPhones. I don't really know. Sure. I don't know. But anyway. Next time you go to the doctor, like next week, you should be like, so when are you on holiday again? Oh yeah, he should actually. I've said that literally every time again. he's gone on holiday, basically around our duty. <laughs> and I keep forgetting each week, and I keep asking him. And he's like, you keep asking. And know, today he was like, I'm going to tell you for the last time. <laughs> Next week you should just go and be like, so when are you going to get? When exactly you going to get thrown out? Oh my goodness, look at this. We got. Oh no, you wasn't right. Got. I think it's a four five eight and an invented or. <laughs> Flags. <laughs> what? All right, food has arrived. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. I was trying to be good and healthy as Anna has been feeding me very healthy food lately. But my sister came into this stage and she's all like, "Forget it, Jonathan. Just live on the edge." And look what ended up in front of me: fish and chips. Well, I got, I got healthy. So you well, Anna, and then, then after I ordered the fish and chips, Anna Ruth is like, "Oh no, no, can I have sweet potato fries?" 
leaving me in the lurch. So I've got two, two veg. And then, when the lady leaves, Ruth says, well, I'll eat your chips when they arrive. So, I think Ruth thinks it's sharing you. Sharing is caring. Sharing, Sherrington. So if you order the chips, you got um, you got basically fish and chips. Oh my goodness! Look at Bree ordered. Look at this thing here. No, no. Size that. Ribs. I got ribs. I got baby back, baby back. Oh, it's all kicking off. So someone bought Priyanka. Oh my God! There's dogs everywhere. You brought some dogs. No. <laughs> It's coming home. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, oh. This, this, this is terrible. Oh, it's not, it's not coming home. Breed's going home. Yeah, that's all right. Yes. Yay. I made it back, lads. I got my supplies. Oh my goodness. Cannot believe. Ing has already scored. No. <laughs> Guys. One nil. One nil. He's in the car and we heard it within the first five minutes. I'm like, what the hell is going on, lads? Could you imagine? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm a believer. I'm a Yorkie eater and a believer. Oh my goodness, everybody is gone now. Everyone's gone to bed. Whew. Well, I'm sure you know the score. Well done, Croatia. You played amazing. Ah, oh, well done, England. Like, what an amazing achievement to get to the semi finals. That's crazy. Like, that's insane. But my father's family is French, so I am now switching over to the French team who are in the final. Viva la France! <laughs> See, that's the thing, guys. You gotta have yourself a good gene. Do the gene test, right? You know, that gene testing Anna did. And then, like, you can pick any of those countries. <laughs> but oh my goodness, like I'm, you know, I'm disappointed for England. It would have been amazing if England had moved on to the next stage. But at the same time, to get to the semi-finals, insane, insane. Well done, amazing, amazing. That was, that was such an intense, <laughs> that was such an intense experience. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, friends. Um, thanks for watching. Um, tune in tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? I don't know. Um, I was going to do something about it. I was, yeah, so I was going to do something on Monday, um, and then as the World Cup was going on, I thought to myself, "Oh no! If we're in the World Cup final on Sunday, what if we win the World Cup? So if England wins the World Cup, I wasn't going to do the thing that I was going to do on Monday. Now that that hasn't happened, as a consolation prize, something very exciting is happening on Monday on Sikoni Jolies. Tune in." on Monday. Tune in tomorrow and every other day until Monday. But trust me, you do not want to miss Monday's episode. It's been the thing you've been waiting so long for. I'll see you guys later. Oh, say